Welcome back to something that I had no idea was even in this game. While messing around before recording this latest video, I managed to input the seven input combination that takes you to the secret codes screen from the level select. Once you're here, you just have to put in the correct six uh, icon sequence. But unfortunately, the number of people who are even aware that this screen exists is probably in the single digits, excluding people who worked on the game. So I don't think anyone even knows what code works on this at all. Still, I can't help but admire that in a relatively recent game that the developers put in a completely hidden code screen that they knew that probably no one was going to get to. After spending about half an hour uh, putting in a couple hundred uh, different uh, combinations, I decided to move on. I'll keep trying it and uh, probably do a video if I ever find the correct combination, but there are, excluding repetitions, about 665,000 possible uh, permutations. So it might take a while. In the meantime, let's do some of the secret levels. Using the balls that you voted on, three of them in fact. We'll start with the frog ball. You'll notice that all of the balls now have their stats visible. There's a reason for that. We'll get to later. Oh man, I love this place already. All of the secret levels are pretty easygoing, unique stages that are all based around some uh, individual idea, which is pretty fun. It's a nice little break after all of the uh, relatively difficult levels that we went through recently. Ah, and we also get cameos from other Hudson games in the form of the music. I hate how inefficient I'm being here right now. I completely blanked at the time and didn't do things in the in a uh, optimal path. It doesn't really matter, but knowing that I could have done it without retracing myself so much just annoys me that little bit. The frog is basically uh, the same as all of the other animal balls, but it is significantly bouncier. After all, frogs like uh, jumping all over the place. Oh, come on. That was easily a gold. No one was even ahead of me. It's ridiculous. Oh, hey, this looks like some sort of uh, specific obstacle course. I don't imagine that they've got uh, frog shows anywhere at all. But I guess we'll have to make do because unfortunately no one wanted the dog to be used in these levels so we don't get to have the thematically appropriate ball run through these levels. Oh, between the posts. Time penalty. Careful, careful.
Again, none of these levels are particularly challenging, maybe one or two of them. Uh, most of them are just designed to be a bit of uh, fun as a kind of bonus reward for getting the green gems. I like that they had this, uh, this environment where they weren't uh, a bit restricted to any particular theme like they are in the regular levels. The second most popular vote for these levels was... the watermelon. A significant step up from the uh, frog we were just using, the watermelon goes all over the place, and it's pretty loose to turn around. Which is great for this level where we don't need any precise controlling whatsoever. Can't, can't, can't get it, there. Watermelon is the slipperiest uh, ball in general, let alone going all over the ice, which doesn't actually—it doesn't make you go uh, super fast. It just makes you go to your top speed. It sort of just increases your acceleration and decreases your deceleration. So, at the same angle, the watermelon would go much faster than the frog. If you compare the. Uh, if you compare the frogs run through that slalom level to this, you can kind of see that. This level in particular is really fun to just do exactly what I'm doing, it's just sort of not really aim for the crystals so much as just tilt the entire stage so that you slide ridiculously fast and hope that you get them in one pass, maybe two. I remember that game. I'm actually lying, I've never played any video games. I like the cardboard aesthetic that they have for most of these levels. I also really like just this slightly maddening uh, climb. When you're using a faster ball, this is one of the harder stages of the secret levels, mainly because it's really easy to get impatient and want to uh, just, you know, like, oh, I just want to hop over the edge and get to this crystal immediately instead of having to go all the way around. But I'm not going to succumb to that temptation. 
I will be patient and get all of the crystals the appropriate way without jumping all over the place like some hooligan. Even if I fall off, I will maintain my composure and just take that as the opportunity to go over to this side of the stage and get crystals over here. See? Nothing's gonna break my stride. Not even my own inability to properly control. Ooh. See, I'm already back where I was. This is going perfectly. Perfectly. Oh! I had an itchy reset finger thumb there. Let's try that again. okay because I'm still patient and cool I don't need to jump over think would except that wasn't really jumping that was kind of just sort of falling over to that side I still haven't you know, tried to jump all over the place to get to crystals immediately because I'm cool and chill about it and I'm almost done because of that because I'm able to maintain my composure even in the face of constant failure I can just roll with it even when it takes an annoyingly long time to get back, fall, never mind, whatever. No, see? I just wanted to prove that that's the easy way to fall off of the stage if you get impatient. Someone must have taken the controller out of my hands and started playing. Someone who's far less patient than I. I wouldn't do that. Fortunately, I probably wrestled the controller back from them, and we're all good. No more jumping around for me. Here we go. One thing that this level does that I really like is uh, put the crystals on the walls where, on the walls of the stage where it doesn't look like you would normally need to go, because you wouldn't need to go there, you can just hop over the uh, gaps there. But as well as that one uh, at the, let's say, back of the stage, there are also a few uh, crystals on the front of the stage here, which is something that even when they are trying to guide you onto the walls, they don't normally put crystals on this, on, on surfaces where you would need to tilt the Wii Remote forward or backward. Usually it's just side to side, mainly because it's a really awkward uh, way to control the ball. So I like that they went ahead and did that. Oh, sorry, hang on. I forgot. We need to change balls one last time. To... Um... Yeah. Yeah. The pig. Actually, having uh, several of these slower moving, easier balls saved to these later stages is kind of a, uh, a drawback, because it can... They move slow enough that making some making jumps through the air 
is actually a lot harder than with the faster moving balls because you really have to tilt the entire stage way further to get them to actually fly as far as you want because they just won't move fast enough through the air or on the ground. Fortunately, that is uh, that is offset by the fact that they are much more controllable uh, on narrow pathways. But we don't have those here. Sensing a bit of a theme with some of these levels. I can't remember when this was released, maybe it was around Christmas time. I almost feel bad uh, making the animal balls drop down any heights whatsoever because they make specific noises when they fall down heights as opposed to the noises they make just when they're rolling all over the place. When they fall down, they start making, you know, somewhat... A, you could argue that it's like a pained or at least surprised uh, noise. It's helped a bit by the fact that that doesn't really sound like a pig. Finally, we had the dog ball for this. But no, people just didn't want to vote for a cute option. They were all, no, we want you to use the harder balls. Using hard balls on easy levels, that makes sense. And now we don't get a perfect representation of this level as the dog show up to the course that it is. So I hope you're all happy. It almost, this music almost frames it like a circus should act as well. Oh, come on. How is that, how is that bronze? I barely touched anything. These pig shows are rigged. They're always rigged. I hate it. This one can be a little tricky, mainly towards the end, and only if you don't really get where you're supposed to go. It's also a little tricky if you're using a slow ball. That's not the way you're supposed to go. I don't know why I thought it was, because there's a much simpler path right over here to get up. If you're using a, small, a slower ball, it can make a couple of jumps a little tricky. But, other than that, it's it's really not that bad. There's a very clear uh, kind of path you can follow, that I'm following now, to get all the gems in as few passes as possible. So the tricky part is, right about here, if you don't realize that you can roll off of the front to get onto the path to the goal, then you might try and uh, use that jump over the side to kind of 
just land in the middle. And I guess that's all of the secret stages. Alright, now that we've finally got all that out of the way, let's actually go after some of those gold trophies that we had a little glimpse of a few videos ago. The reason that we have the <clears throat> uh, stats on all of the balls is because the flash ball can be edited, which makes it both the easiest and most difficult ball uh, of the entire game. So we're going to be using that, finally, to get some trophies. As much as I would like to uh, show off all of the gold trophies and the fastest possible ways to complete levels for the entire game, uh, I must admit that I actually am not a, a speedrunner of this game yet. So, I, I really can't do as well as I would like to show these off adequately. So all I'm going to be doing is getting enough gold trophies to... Well, we'll see. The other thing is that the gold, the gold times uh, aren't really that strict at all. They are incredibly generous. So it's it's really nothing like the, uh, for example, S ranks of mischief makers, where you really have to kind of be pretty much perfect. You can make quite a few little mistakes and still get enough gold trophies. Every five gold trophies you get unlocks the bonus levels. There are five to take up those last slots on the level select board that take us out into deep space. Man, it's a good thing that no one voted for any of those space-themed balls, or else we would just be... it would just look silly to be playing the... these final levels. So next time we'll take on the final frontier. Oh, and look at that! What are the odds? There are five levels left in the game and we have five balls left to use. So we'll be using those five balls to complete those five remaining levels in the next video. What are the odds? Five balls.